course the day that I decide to film we are like running behind it's 7 34 and we have to leave at 8 um, so I need to make him breakfast real quick and at least he wants a smoothie today so he can eat the smoothie in the car which I'm totally cool with you come in I also have to make his snack because usually I prep that at night, um, but I didn't do that, so. Oh, mommy, why is it disorganized today? Can you tell us some of your math stuff? Practice some of your math. What math? What's seven plus seven? Seven plus seven, oh, okay. So, guys, I'm going to teach you What's seven plus seven? So, uh, fourteen. Good job. What's ten plus ten? Ten plus ten? Yeah. Ten plus ten. Ten plus ten. Eight toys twenty. Good job, baby. I got these this cute little like bento box thing from Chapters, but this is the only one I have, so I'm constantly watching washing it, which is why I didn't pack a snack mm -hmm. last night because it was in the dishwasher. Um, ah. <laughs> so that is why I'm unprepared today. Mm. What city I always need to have vitamins and this vitamin and this no vitamin. So, yeah. By the way, guys, I got a new fridge. A couple of you asked me um to do like an updated kitchen tour and kind of talk about how like my ikea cabinets are holding up and like the black and all that stuff so after i drop them off from school i will um, come home and clean up the mess we've just made in the kitchen and then i'll talk about it All right, I just dropped Jace off at school. Um, I realized, like, I probably didn't even say good morning. It has been quite a while. Um, I don't even know where to start, but Jace just started school because of the uh, pandemic. He did not start school in September. We kind of held off to see what was going to happen. And then for January, we just decided that it was time. And it was really important that he was still going to school. Um, right now we're in lockdown. So like junior high and high schools are closed, um, but preschools and elementaries are open. And like his class, there's only like eight people. So very small um i totally feel comfortable but like restaurants are closed right now um there's not a heck of a lot going on in this city and it really has been driving me crazy taking a toll i'm just like ready for life to get back to normal and it just feels like as soon as it starts to we go into a lockdown or something happens um, so that's kind of why I haven't been filming because I just mentally haven't been in like the best place I'd say and I don't know what to film. I don't know what to show you guys. Um, I want to keep it interesting. I tried vlogging like the other day and it just like, I didn't enjoy how it turned out. 
person who was crazy and almost hit me came up to a yield and was not going to yield. Drivers, I tell ya. Um, so yeah, Jace just started school last week and so this is like his third day and he's loving it. It's been an adjustment for us because we have to wake up early, which for the last like <laughs> year pretty much, um, we have been waking up at like nine and now he starts school at 8.30 so we're waking up at like seven and we have to leave the house by eight. So it's a bit of an adjustment. I think he's coping better than me. He like wakes up and he's super happy and excited. Um, he's not grumpy at all so that's good but I'm trying to like teach my body to wake up and I do I really do want to start my days off like earlier but it's just it's been hard when you literally have nothing to do nowhere to go so that's fun but I hope whatever is happening in your city um, that you guys are just staying safe and healthy we had a wicked windstorm yesterday and let's see if I can show you completely wrecked my umbrella. Like it snapped it. That's not supposed to be separated ever. So I'm pretty pissed off about that and I can't even like put it back on or get it back up. And then I caught the barbecue cover literally in midair it was like flying up and i ran outside and grabbed it so that's in the garage now and then it wrecked my lattice like blew it out at least it's like still strapped on in places but that's fun okay now that i'm home i am gonna do my work first i think is like the best decisions I can make sure I get it done. But I'm gonna drink my little detox drink. I promised you that I would show you um, some of the new updates of my kitchen since I last filmed. If you haven't seen that transformation video, go check it out. Like my kitchen before to now is like incredible. So this is the newest addition to the kitchen. I got this fridge from Lowe's and I got it on Black Friday. So it was a really good deal. I saved a ton of money. Um, so I was really happy about that. My fridge at my rental property kind of crapped out. So I ended up giving my old fridge to that house and bought this one. I splurged and got the water and ice dispenser because now I don't have to have like my Brita in the fridge taking up space. So I think this was just worth it. Um, if this was an extremely tight squeeze, like if this ever needs to be replaced, I don't know how we're going to get it out to be completely honest. Um, but I wanted to like get as big of a fridge as possible so that I have room. So anyways open it up it's not super full right now but um pretty organized i've had like all these bins forever but i got them from bed bath and beyond and like i need to like transfer my eggs over and stuff like that and like i just went grocery shopping so now i need to like put all the juice boxes there but um yeah looking good and then i love that it's like a fridge on top and then the freezer on the bottom i will never go back to like a side by side fridge like never so, but so that is the fridge it's fingerprint resistant so it stays pretty clean even with dirty little fingers got the island nothing new here i still haven't finished this microwave area because i said i was going to put in another drawer and then i was going to get this um, microwave like fitted so like there's no space but honestly it's just like not the end of the world right now and I have plenty of storage that I don't need another drawer right now so I'm just like whatever I'll leave it um the stove was also not in my reveal so this I got from Ikea and it actually came 
because I was part of the Ikea kitchen event, um, I got money back from buying my kitchen. And so that paid for this stove. I went the extra mile and I got the gas stove and I have no regrets. It is awesome. My kitchen transformation video like blew up. Like it has so many views and I did not expect that, but um, I think most of my new followers have probably come from that video. So if you watched it and you subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, but I've had a lot of questions on that video about like the black cabinets, kind of how they're holding up Ikea wise. And then also if they get dirty and honestly, like the cabinets have been great. Everything is soft close. So awesome. Um, the drawers are soft close and no issues with the cabinets. The only thing that I have an issue with is the garbage. So, um, when we did the planning, I was like, yeah, I want garbage like built into the counter. So this like looks like a cabinet, but it's a drawer and you pull it out and then your garbage fits inside. Well, when we planned it, the plan was to get two garbage bins in here. Um, so this was actually supposed to go, and this is like the Ikea garbage can and everything. So this was supposed to go sideways. So then I could have one, two, I could have, um, garbage and recycling. Well, it doesn't fit. Like it doesn't even fit that way, like to touch the ground, but then it's also like too big. So clearly like the planner, I don't know, did not give us a big enough cabinet for this, which is a little bit annoying, but Ideal, I just uh, have my garbage there and then I just literally put recycling like here and then take it to the garage. So, oh well, what can you do? As far as the black cabinets like getting dirty and stuff, I would not say that they get much dirtier than normal cabinets. Yes, if I have like dirty fingers like if I have makeup on my fingers and stuff like that and I like grab this or go like that um yes there will be marks but super super simple just take like a damp cloth and you just wipe it off so normally I just find myself spot cleaning um I did just have my house cleaned it was like a treat for myself for 2021 um so everything's pretty clean right now yes these do get dusty, um, not even specifically the cabinets, but more so like the handles. But, you know, if you're dusting like every couple weeks, um, just as you would like clean and dust the rest of your house, it's totally fine. It makes no difference. The only thing that gets really dirty is the island and mostly just where Jace sits. Like, actually it's pretty clean right now. But his little like dirty feet will make marks and stuff. And sometimes the dog too, um, he will jump up on like the island part and then he'll leave little paw prints. But again, I can just easily spot clean that. And then when I'm doing like a full house clean, um, where I vacuum and mop, that's when I would go in and I just like wipe down the whole island. Um, if I'm feeling super motivated, I'll go and wipe down the other cabinets too, but literally no issues. I love the black. It was the best decision I could have made in my white house. I'm glad I didn't go with like a white kitchen. Um, I think it just would have been too much. Like the contrast is just unparalleled. So super happy still with my kitchen um if there's anything that you're curious about regarding the rest of the kitchen um let me know but i think i've touched on most of it in my other video if you haven't seen that transformation go check it out okay 
I'm wasting time. It's nine o'clock. I'm gonna go work. I think maybe half an hour. I think I can get it done in half an hour. And then I'm gonna work out because if I do not work out today while Jace is at school, I'm not gonna get it in. And I already took two days off from working out and feel horrible about it. So we gotta, we gotta get it done. trying to add into my routine is making the bed every day um, then I'm much less likely to get in it in the afternoon when I'm starting to feel really tired so that is what the hope is Let in a little bit of light there okay I'm gonna work out now um, I think I'm gonna do BBG which is uh, Kayla it's seen as bikini body guide and it's off of the sweat app and honestly it's like it's only half an hour it's not a, a long workout but it is freaking hard Mission accomplished. I was maybe gonna do my uh, 30 minutes of walking on the treadmill now, but I have to leave in 45 minutes to pick up Jace, and I haven't eaten today and I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my smoothie now. Right, we got the kid. How was school, baby? What did you learn about? Uh, Sarah mm -hmm. was holding the two planets, and then, and then Finney wanted to touch the the planet, but but Miss Sarah was doing the the ten. There's dumb on on Finney's foot, and then she tapped it off. Oh, ho, ho. tricky, tricky. Okay, so Jace is totally obsessed with math, which I kind of showed you this morning. There, mommy. Yeah. There was a boy trying because there was a lost bird. He was crying because there was a lost bird. Mm -hmm. not, not me. Some other boy. Okay. But so Jace is obsessed with math. He watches this show on YouTube called Number Blocks, and he's obsessed with it. And I don't think he's totally like, like he just turned four, right? So I don't know if he's totally comprehending equations yet, but I think he's memorizing equations. Okay, what's five plus five? Five plus five, ten. Yeah. What's ten plus ten? Ten plus ten, twenty. Good job. So he's like memorizing this. And then we were just playing with um, this little register from Ikea and I was teaching him how it's like a calculator and he can do math on the calculator. Do you want to try it? Mm -hmm, okay, what equation are you going to do? It's, hey, Al, do seven okay. plus, plus one, one equals eight. eight. So, safe to say for his fifth birthday, he'll be getting a calculator. <laughs> but I just love uh, to, like, see him learning new things. Like, he's even learning, like, 
<laughs> multiplication, <laughs> like some. JC? Jace? What? What's 10 times 10? Equals um, 20 10. What's 10 tens? 10 tens, 100. Yeah, so 10 times 10 is 100. We are having dinner. Actually, I am already done because I was so hungry. I'm just still eating my green beans, but I'll show you what Jace had. We have brown rice, we have steak, and green beans. I just really want to like start to feel better about myself like physically there's so much going on in the world right now that I can't change and like you know business is a little bit stressful like finances are a little bit stressful right now but there isn't a ton I can do while we're in lockdown so I can control how I feel about myself physically and if I can get my nails done, can't get my lashes done, can't get a tan, I need to do something that I can do. So that's work out and eat better and I know I need to just eat better. I'm going to clean up dinner, do the dishes. Um, I always go to bed with a clean kitchen. It's very important for me. I'm hopefully gonna get Jace to finish eating dinner. He's super slow. And I'm gonna give him a bath because he goes to his dad's tomorrow. And that's pretty much going to be our night. Oh, and I'm gonna work out once he goes to bed. So, I think I'll just end it here. I'm so sorry if I've been looking at the viewfinder the whole time. Again, I need to get back into vlogging and then I remember these things. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Give this video a like and we will see you in the next one. And it will hopefully not be three months from now. JC, you want to say goodnight? Good night. Say goodnight. Good night.